Now, sweet potatoes. I boiled the sweet potatoes first, and I like to cook them almost all the way because I'm gonna put them on the grill, but I'm gonna put them on sort of a cooler part of the grill, sort of indirect heat as well. I'm just gonna be reheating them, all right? So here's a trick. I take these, uh, these tongs, these wooden tongs, and I just make slices. Whoops. <laughs> that didn't work. You don't wanna go all the way down. This is just a guide, but you just, you wanna go about three quarters of the way down. Okay, and then all the flavors kind of drip in there. We're gonna use molasses and nutmeg and some rum. Now we're gonna put these on the grill. Now don't forget, they're basically cooked all the way through, but I'm just gonna reheat them, get a little charred flavor on there. I've created two zones here, hot, not hot. So lots of charcoal here and none here. I'm gonna put them down where the charcoal is not. I don't want these to burn, I just want them to heat through. So while that's cooking, let's make our butter. It's a little bit of molasses, some unsalted butter that's softened, some orange zest. I have whole nutmeg here. A lot of people haven't seen this before. I think it's a really cool whole spice. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside of the, of the nutmeg. Very cool. And then some salt and pepper, some fresh cilantro. You'll see lots of sweet potatoes or yams, depending on who you're talking to in the Caribbean. And lots of sugar cane there. And molasses is an ingredient that goes really well, especially for things like jerk rub, because it's very, very spicy. So you want something a little bit sweet, but it's not overpoweringly sweet. It's a little tart and sweet at the same time. That's why I'm so excited about this kind of food, because the flavors just work so well together. There's lots of different spices working in unison, but when you put them all together, it just makes an explosion of flavors. Combine all these ingredients together. I'm gonna to get the sweet potatoes off the grill. Make sure they're nice and hot. Yeah, good, because we want the butter to melt. The idea is to let the butter just kind of melt in between every cut of the sweet potato and a little extra. This is good tasting butter. Kind of open up the, the slices a little bit. Just beautiful. All right, just gonna flambe a little bit of dark rum. Distilled in Jamaica, of course. Cook a little bit of the alcohol out. So we're gonna let that burn off a little bit. Okay. I'm just gonna pour some of the flambéed rum right on top. Mm, smells good. Now those are some sweet potatoes. Hmm. I'm a huge sweet potato fan. If you put this butter on there with the molasses, the rum, a little bit of orange. It's just gonna wake up the sweet potatoes, gives it so much flavor. And these ingredients go so well with the, the natural sweetness of the sweet potatoes. Plus, look how beautiful they are.